Good morning, students of class 3. Students, I am sure all of you are happy and healthy. Students, please take out your Wordsworth English Reader book and turn to page number 72 as I will be continuing with lesson 8, A Swimmer Mihir Say. Students, please take out your English notebook and your Wordsworth English Reader book and turn to page number 72 as I'll be continuing with lesson 8, A Swimmer Mihir Say. Students, in my last video, I had read and explained this lesson to you. Not today. First of all, I'm going to revise the word meanings of this lesson and then I'm going to again read this lesson and then we are going to start with the exercise. So, students, the first word of lesson 8 is, the first new word of lesson 8 is champion. And champion means prize winner. Champion, prize winner. The second word is achievements. Achievement means victories and success. Achievements, victory and success. The third word is remarkable. Remarkable means extraordinary. Remarkable, extraordinary. Jo dusro se beta hat ke ho. Remarkable, extraordinary. Then the fourth word is conqueror. And conqueror means winner. Conqueror, winner. Conqueror, winner. Jeet ne wala. The fifth word is ace. Ace means one who excels in a particular sport and expert. Ace means one who excels in a particular sport and expert. Then the sixth word is dog paddle. Dog paddle means to float in water, moving about hands and legs. Dog paddle means to float in water, moving about hands and legs. The seventh word is barrister and barrister means lawyer. Barrister, lawyer. The eighth word is porter. Porter means a person employed to carry luggage and other loads. Porter beta kuli jisko bolte hain. A person employed to carry luggage and other loads. The ninth word is rigorous. Rigorous means very tough and strict. Rigorous, very tough and strict. Then the tenth word is links. Links means connect. Do chijo ko jorna. Links means connect. The eleventh word is momentous. And momentous means important. Momentous, important. The twelfth word is straight. <coughs> straight means a narrow passage of water connecting two seas. Straight means a narrow passage of water connecting two seas. The thirteenth word is daring. And daring means Brave. Daring. Brave. The fourteenth word is shark infested which means filled with lot of sharks. Filled with lot of sharks. Then the fifteenth word is hazardous. Hazardous means dangerous. Hazardous means dangerous. Usko khatarnaak bolte. Usko hazardous bolte better. The sixteenth word is not worthy. Not worthy means extraordinary and worth mentioning. Not worthy, extraordinary and worth mentioning. The seventeenth word is excel. Excel means to do very well. Bhoat achha karne ko excel bolte. So, excel means to do very well. Then the 18th word is unmatched. Unmatched means unique. Jiske jaisa dusra koi nahi ho. Unmatched, unique. Unmatched, unique. Then the 19th, the last new word of this lesson is deeds. Deed means action. Jo bhi humare action se wo humare deeds hai. Kehte hai na ki hum achche deeds karenge, hum achche actions karenge, to humko achcha fal milega. Hmm? So now students, I'm going to read this lesson once again for you. And after I read this, I'll be starting with the comprehension exercises. A swimmer, Mir Sain, 
पेज नंबर सेवेंटी टू स्टूडेंट्स प्लीज लिसन टू मी केयरफुली एंड ट्राई टू मूव योर फिंगर्स एज आई रीड लेसन एट ए स्विमर मिहिर सेन मिहिर सेन द ए स्विमिंग चैंपियन इन फैक्ट डिड नॉट नो हाउ टू स्विम टिल ही वॉज ट्वेंटी टू ईयर्स ऑफ एज अंटिल दिस एज ही हैड ओनली टॉक पैडल मिहिर was born on 16 november 1930 in the purulia district in west bengal he became a lawyer and worked as a barrister at the kolkata high court however he wanted to do something more with his life so he traveled to england there he worked as a railway porter after which he got a job at the indian high commission's office it was here that mihir sen developed a love for swimming he joined a local club and for 3 years he went through rigorous training finally on 27 september 1958 he became the first asian to swim across the english channel in 14 hours and 45 minutes the english channel divides the island of great britain from northern france and links the north sea to the atlantic ocean sen was awarded the padma shri in 1959 for being the first asian to swim across the english channel the year 1966 was a momentous year for sen he swam across the seven seas of the five continents in one year in the month of april he swam across the park strait the sea between india and sri lanka this was indeed daring as the water of the park strait was shark infested in the month of august he swam across the strait of gibraltar between europe and africa in september he became the world's first man to swim across the hazardous strait of dardanelles in turkey in the same month he swam across the bosphorus also in turkey in only 4 hours then he swam the 85 kilometers long panama canal in 34 hours and set a world record thus sen set a five world records as he swam the seven seas for which he was awarded the padma bhushan in 1966 Mihir Sen's noteworthy achievements earned him a place in the Guinness Book of World Records as the world's greatest long-distance swimmer. Sen opened the doors for many Indian swimmers to excel in long-distance swimming. However, his daring achievements remain unmatched. He always believed that a country is measured only by the deeds and achievements of its people mihir sen was the president of the explorers club of india and passed away in 1997 at the age of 67 so students i have read the story of mihir sen he is the person who he is the person who has set world record as the world's greatest long distance swimmer fine and his story really motivates us ki till 22 years of age he didn't know how to swim but after that he went through rigorous training for 3 years at a club and then he set a world record so and then he was not satisfied he wanted to do something more so he shifted to 
England है ना he was a lawyer in Kolkata High Court but then he was not satisfied he wanted to do something more so he went to England England just imagine he had the degree of a lawyer in spite of that he worked as a porter England में lawyer की degree होने के बाद में he worked as a porter to survive and then finally he got a job at the Indian High Commission's office and then finally started learning swimming and after three years he really did miracles which nobody can even think of and he was so brave कि आप सोचो कि कितना long distance उन्होंने swimming की थी है ना and he is no more वो अभी नहीं है हमारे साथ but he is his swimming skills are unmatched उनके जैसा कोई भी नहीं है shark infested water में है ना just imagine crossing the seven seas of the five continents you can see the map on page number seventy three five continents आपको देख रहे हैं और इन continents की seven seas को उन्होंने पूरा क्रॉस किया हम्म और उनको उन्होंने कितने सारे रिकॉर्ड सेट किए ये वाज द फर्स्ट एशियन ये बिकेम द फर्स्ट एशियन टू सेट रिकॉर्ड्स है ना और उनको कितने अवार्ड्स मिले हम्म सो पद्म श्री पद्म भूषण हम्म सो आज ही ऑलवेज बिलीव कि कोई भी कंट्री की पहचान उसके लोगों से है व्हाटेवर द पीपल डू जो पीपल के जो अचीवमेंट्स हैं उससे कंट्री का सक्सेस मेजर किया जाता है। सो दिस इज़ वेरी इम्पोर्टेंट। ही इज़ नो मोर, बट वो जो सोचते थे, ही हार ही हास बिकम अ रोल मॉडल, है ना? हाँ बाकियों के लिए वो रोल मॉडल बनके गए। सो मच टू लर्न फ्रॉम हिज लाइफ, है ना? ही पास्ट वे आर दी एज ऑफ सिक्स I'm going to start with the comprehension exercises and this lesson is about Mihir Sen who was a great swimmer and unke jo swimming skills hai that remain unmatched. Koi bhi unka mukabla kabhi nahi kar sakta. He is no more but his swimming skill still remains अनमाचेबल कोई भी उनका मुकाबला नहीं कर सकता। He was so daring. So now I'm going to start with comprehension exercise A. I hope students, all of you have written the vow words and word meanings in your notebook. And after that, we are going to start with this in our notebook. Exercise A, based on, based on Based on your reading of the lesson, answer the following question. Now, based on the reading of this lesson, this lesson is about Mihir Sen, who was a great long distance swimmer. Now, we need to answer the question. The first question, student, is where and when? was 
really saying ball. The first question is where and when was Mihir Sen born? Now, if we turn this lesson to page number 72, we can find the answer in the starting of the second paragraph of page 72. Mihir was born on 16th November 1960 in Purulia district in West Bengal. Better where, matlab place. And when means the date fine so where place and when date keep in mind where place se related hota hai and when date se related hota hai so the first answer is exactly from paragraph 2 mihir sen was born on sixteenth November. 1930 in the district in West Bengal. Now, where and when was Mihir Sen born? So, the answer is Mihir Sen was born on 16th November 1930 in the Purulia district in West Bengal. Student, so please write this answer. And after writing the answer, please draw a parting line with a scale and pencil. Fine. So question one, where means the place, when refers to the date. So where and when was Mihir Sen born? The answer is Mihir Sen was born on 16 November 1930 in the Purulia district in West Bengal. So please write all of you. Write the first answer. Where and when was Mihir Sen born? Answer is Mihir Sen was born on 16 November 1930 in the Purulia district in West Bengal. Mihir Sen and remember Mihir Sen will be capital, Sen's S will be capital. Mihir is the first name, Sen is the surname. So Mihir Sen was born on 16th November 1930 in the Purulia district in West Bengal. Isko kya bolenge? Purulia. Purulia again. Purulia with P capital. Why? Because Purulia is the proper noun, name of a district. West Bengal, W of West will be capital, Bengals, B would be capital, name of a state. So, jitne bhi proper nouns hain, wo sub capital se start honge. You please ensure whatever I have written in capital letters, even you need to write in capital letters. So, again I am repeating question 1. Where and when was Mihir Sen born? Answer is, Mihir Singh was born on 16 November 1930 in 
the Purulia district in West Bengal. Please write first students. When and sorry, where and when was Mihir Sen born? Answer is Mihir Sen was born on 16 November 1930 in the Purulia district in West Bengal. I hope all of you have written students. The first question and answer. Now I'm going to erase this and write the second one. Now, once again, I'm reaching out for you. Question one, where and when was Mihir Sen born? Answer is, Mihir Sen was born on 16th November 1930 in the Purulia district in West Bengal. And students, please, one thing more. When you write the numbers, try to write the numbers of the same size. Fine? Now, I'm going to erase this and write question number two. Now, the second question is, what was sense? Sense means mere sense. Profession. Profession matlab ki wo kya kaam karte the. Like my profession is teaching. Main teacher hoon. Isle mera profession kya hai? Teaching. What was saint's profession and where did he practice it? Now, question number two is, what was saint's profession and where did he practice it? Sain ka kya kaam tha aur wo kaha pe apne kaam ki practice karte thi. So, the answer is, he was a lawyer. And worked as a barrister at the Kolkata High Court. Now, what was Sain's profession and where did he practice it? Answer, he was a lawyer. Lawyer me ne bataya tha na, wakil ko bote And worked as a barrister. Barrister also means lawyer only. Barrister ka meaning bhi beta kya hai? Lawyer. Aur wo kaha pe apne lawyer ki practice karte the? At the Kolkata High Court. Kolkata High Court mein wo practice karte the as a lawyer. Fine? So, after the answer, please draw a parting line using a scale and pencil students. So, question 2. What was Sain's profession and where did he practice it? Answer is, he was a lawyer and worked as a barrister at the Kolkata High Court. And remember students, Kolkata's K will be capital, High's H will be capital and Court's C will be capital. So please, whatever I write capital, you also try to write capital. Fine? So what was Sain's profession? Sain's refers to ki Mihir Sain ka kya profession tha? Hai na? And by profession, he was a lawyer. Wo lawyer the, wakil the. And he worked as a barrister. And learn the spelling of barrister students. 
he was a barrister ani as a barrister where did he practice he practiced at the kolkata high court now what was sen's profession and where did he practice it answer is he was a lawyer and worked as a barrister at the kolkata high court now you need to learn the spelling of lawyer barrister and kolkata high court fine so you need to learn these spellings if you as if you write the incorrect spelling what will happen in spite of learning the answer your marks will be deducted so please learn the spelling he was a lawyer and worked as a barrister at the kolkata high court what was sen's profession and where did he practice it answer is he worked as a lawyer and he was a lawyer and worked as a barrister at the kolkata high court dan students i hope all of you have written the second answer students now i'm going to address this and write the third question question number 3 what did mehir say do when he reached in now our question 3 is what did mehir soon do when he reached england what have we read in the lesson students that he was a lawyer he was a lawyer by profession and isse pehle wale question mein humne likha he was a lawyer by profession and he worked as a barrister at the kolkata high court but then he was not satisfied he wanted to do something more wo jeevan mein kuch aur karna chahte the so what did he do he decided to go to england aur jab england pahunche to unhone kya kaam kiya what did mehir sen do when he reached england jab wo england pahunche to beta unhone kya kiya main aapko batana hai so when he reached england comma unhone portal ka kaam kiya tha kuli ka kaam kiya tha isn't it he worked as a railway porter after which after which he got a job at the indian hi commissions
office. Now, what did Mihir Sen do when he reached England? The answer is, when he reached England, he worked as a railway porter, after which he got a job at the Indian High Commission's office. Now students, you need to keep in mind, England proper noun here, so England's E will be capital, then Indians, I will be capital, highs, H will be capital, commission, C will be capital and commission will have an apostrophe sign. Apostrophe S, commissions, Indian high commissions, beta ya apostrophe ka sign, you need to remember to put. Fine? So, what did Mir Sen do when he reached England? The answer is, when he reached England, he worked as a railway porter after which he got a job at the Indian High Commission's office. Fine. So, what did Mihir Sen do when he reached England? So, answer is, when he reached England, he worked as a railway porter, after which he got a job at the Indian High Commission's office. And after this answer, please draw a parting line with a scale and pencil. So students, I hope you all have written the first three question and answers of lesson 8, A Swimmer, Mihir Say. Now students, this lesson teaches us a lot. Mihir Sain's life is really inspirational. He was a longest, long distance swimmer. He had set a world record and we must get inspired with the story which we have read and please do read this lesson once again that's all for today children thank you students have a good day ahead